Hi, this is Skip Stewart, Chief Improvement Officer with Baptist Memorial Healthcare. Today we want to speak about something that we talk about called the voice of the process. As we continue to improve, there are three questions that can be helpful. The first question you see there on the screen, what do you want to accomplish? We believe we answered that with what we call the challenge. Remember, the challenge is the strategic imperative. It's the game changer. What is it we're trying to achieve one to three years out? Now, sometimes that can also be called the voice of the customer. Whether it be the voice of the customer or the challenge, they tend to be given in the form of goals, objectives, budgets, targets, desired pattern of work, and they're all in some sense definitions of what the customer wants, whether it be an internal customer or an external customer. They tend to be needs-based or what must we achieve. Now, the second question we believe we answer primarily with what we call the Baptist management system. And pr primarily within the Baptist management system, what we call the improvement kata and coaching kata. So that question is called, by what method will you accomplish your challenge? But we're going to focus on this third question. How will you know when you've accomplished your challenge? In other words, how do you know if you've actually made real improvement? A, a run chart uh, is just a simple graph where one scale represents time and the other scale represents values of the measure of interest. Now the solid green line that you see there on the screen is just the average of those 24 values. But this running record or run chart is the inpatient falls per month per hospital. Now remember that third question. If you're going to have a challenge and if you hope to actually move towards that challenge, then you will also need some way to measure how far you have come and how far you have yet to go in reaching that challenge. Any measure you might use will vary in the normal course of events. Some months it'll go up and other months it'll go down. If you do not know how to determine when a change has occurred, you will have difficulty in separating meaningless changes from a signal of a real change. So in other words, how will you know if you're actually making progress towards your challenge. To answer that third question, we have got to learn to listen to the voice of the process. Now, many have not heard about the voice of the process. They may have heard about the voice of the customer. And you can look at this data and imagine different goals that you might set for it uh, for a monthly basis or even for a, a yearly basis. We're going to talk about the voice of the process. If we calculate these red dash lines, we've actually created what's known as natural process limits, those red dash lines. And right around that solid green line, the average. And if we do that, we have created what we call a process behavior chart, which is the voice of the process. The process behavior chart allows you to differentiate between routine variation and exceptional variation. It allows you to characterize the behavior of your process as being either predictable or unpredictable. And so that's some of the things that we want to talk about. Now when a process is predictable, like this one is, the process behavior chart defines what you can expect in the future. The process average is likely to continue to be the same and the future values may fall anywhere within those natural process limits, those red dash lines defined by the chart. Now, if over a reasonably long period of time, all of the points fall within the limits of the process behavior chart, and if the points are well behaved, then the process can be said to display nothing but routine, normal variation. And when this happens, the process can be thought of as being predictable within those limits and will operate this way in the future unless something is changed. When a process is operated predictably, it is operating as consistent as possible. The process doesn't really care whether or not one likes those natural process limits, and it certainly doesn't even know about the voice of the customer. Now, when a process is unpredictable, the process behavior chart helps you to identify those signs of exceptional variation. But we're going to talk more about uh, that in the future, and we'll have some videos on that. And we'll even give three rules to help you detect exceptional variation. Process behavior charts are the way to listen to your process. When you listen to the voice of the process, as revealed by a process behavior chart, you can often detect signals that you would otherwise miss. Finally, if this process could talk to you, it would say, I am statistically predictable or consistent. 
I'm doing the very best that I can do. On any given month, I will produce anywhere between three falls and 27 falls. But on the average, I will produce 15 falls. And none of this will be considered unusual, but it is just my normal routine variation. If you do not like my performance, and if it does not meet the requirements of the voice of the customer, then you must fundamentally change me. Here are some additional resources, and until next time, show me your thinking.